In this video, I am going to be sharing with you my preferred way to defend Trips Tight End and Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. Now, I try to become better through learning from pro players, through learning from other players, and also through labbing and in practice mode as well. So if you want to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free for you to subscribe, and it helps you because that way you know whenever we release a new video. And we release a lot of new videos here on the channel, so you don't want to miss any of them. They're all very, very important in the big picture of how you're going to be playing uh, Madden 21. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk to you today specifically about Trips Tied In. Now, we all know that with J-Wall winning the club championship, that... Trip side in is really, really hard to consistently defend. It's specifically really, really hard to defend with zone drops. The reason why it's so hard to defend with zone drops is because of all of the different spacing concepts and curls and routes that essentially just work well against zone drops. Curl flat is one of those plays that is just really, really hard to stop. So um, we know that that's not going to be that very effective. We also know that um, playing man coverage is also not always going to work well because there's really good man beaters. There's man switches, there's glitches, and things like that from this offense. Insert match coverage. Now, match coverage, I've been running it for about a month and a half now, and I actually kind of stumbled upon it, to be honest with you. Um, I was running cover four out of the 3-3-5 wide, and I could never understand why my safeties were just, like, matching. I didn't know at the time, but it is actually a match defense from the 3-3-5 wide. Now, I've since labbed this probably over the last two weeks. I have probably spent at least 30 hours or so practicing and testing out different combinations and different coverages. And this is kind of the finished product that I want to give to you for Trips Tight End. This is the best way, in my opinion, to consistently hang with Trips Tight End. Now, Trips Tight End is a very tough offense to stop, and I'm not... Um, I'm not going to say that it, you know this is going to completely shut it down and they're never going to be able to move, but it's going to handle a lot of the things that cause problems. So um, all that to say, I'm going to come out. I've got doubles and sale, PA shot wheel, Pat's YN, and PA counter go on my audibles. And let me show you my coaching adjustments really quickly. And this first one, I actually learned this from a video that Zan did on his channel. And there's not a whole lot of people that I really look to for advice um, in the Madden community, but there's really two. Uh, I mean, I look to the advice for a lot of people, there's, but but most of them are little things. There's two people that I, when whenever they talk about something, I really really listen very closely. And the two people are AntCap24 from Huddle.gg and Zan. Um, and I believe that Zan is now got a website called GridironGamePlans.gg. You can check out both of their websites. Um, they have incredible incredible content, and they're really really smart. Um, they've played Madden for longer than I have. I mean, they, they've played for like 15 years, I think, between, you know, both of them have played for about that long. So maybe even longer. So anyways, all that to say, they know what they're doing and they know they know the game. And so Zan was talking about from Trips Tight End, a different, a, a defense um, that actually I think Bobby V ran um, in, in a tournament recently that really helped him defend Trips Tight End. And we know Trips Tight End is tough. Um, and that's first and foremost cover four show too. And I don't believe, I don't know if he was running, I think he was running cover four drop. I don't know. But you could do the same thing out of 3 3 5 wide. But, anyways, um, the bottom line is the coaching adjustment is to man align. When you man align your cover four defense, it really does help a lot with the coverage. There's a lot of reasons as to why this is the case. The primary reason is because it puts your defenders in a better position and it forces your opponent to have to really um, wrestle with whether or not they want to be motioning players or not because there's really now um, a very small advantage to the trip side in as opposed to what was before, a very big advantage. So, anyways, man align it, and then from there we're going to put this on play ball, um, conservative. I don't think you need to do anything with these. Um, every time I try to mess with these, I, I just give up so many one-play scores. I, for whatever reason, this this I just completely stay away from cornerback matchups this year. I personally don't understand them, and I don't really understand how they work. So, And, and maybe that's on me, but anyways. And then all these are on default. Okay, so that's it. And then we've got the cover four in our audibles. We're going to audible into it from the 3-3-5 normal. Okay, so the man aligned, what it's going to do 
is it's going to basically give the appearance that you're in man coverage. What I like personally about this is it is the same look as if you were running press man. So if you want to run, you can mix in two men under into this defense, which I think is really, really sharp and really, really good. Okay. So now um, you see here, when we audible to cover four show two, this is the pre-snap look. Now, if he motions anybody, anybody from the left, I just want you to see what happens. You see that they're going to manually move each other back into a standard alignment which is really advantageous to the defense, okay? It limits how effective the motion snapping from trips can be, in my opinion. This one adjustment. Now, your user, you don't want to be over here. Um, I think I messed my adjustment up. But anyway, man align and press, okay? Uh, whoops, I unman align. That's what the problem is. Okay. So man align and press. Okay? Now, from that point, um, your man align and your press... There's one thing that I want to talk about really quickly, and I believe it's in – It's I don't have the play set up here, but it doesn't matter. We can pretty much do it from, um, you know, from the doubles in sale. But basically what they're going to do is they're going to take – let's just say they did something like this, okay? This combination right here, and they're going to motion this guy. Watch Devontae Adams on this play. Just watch him real quick. You see that that right there is going to happen, and you don't want that to happen. I'm telling you right now, you do not want that to happen. That's a one-play touchdown. That's like the one way that people score on me when I run this defense. So here's how to prevent it. Step number one. When you come into this alignment, you're going to immediately shade down and shade up. The reason I like to shade down is to create cloud flats. You don't, I mean, if you don't want cloud flats, you don't have to do that. So you can just shade up if you want. Okay? I typically also like to shade outside and over top or inside and over top. One of the two. Okay? Um, it just depends. Okay? So let me reset the play here. And again, we're going to pinch our defense and then we're going to shade over top. From that point, that's where we start getting really adjusted with this cover four. We're going to shift our D-line to the running back side, and we're going to crash it out every single time. The reason I like to do this, this helps a ton with the run. They can't cut it back to the right side like they normally would be able to. We're always going to man up the linebacker on the problem. So what I mean by that is there's always a problem in a formation. There's always a receiver that is a problem. When trips is set to trips like this, the problem is the first slot receiver. My opinion, you can book it. The number one issue with trips tied in is Tavon Austin. So we're going to man him up. Now the man coverage is not going to completely bag him, but it will slow him down. And then from that point, the only other thing that we have to worry about is a slot streak on the left side. The way that I deal with that is by using seam flats. Seam flats do a really good job of pressing that type of thing. So I'm going to hot route the slot corner into a seam flat. You see that right there? Okay. And then now all I've got to do is deal with this right side. Now I know that this corner on the right will take the corner route to the tight end. So if the tight end's on a corner, <coughs> excuse me, that corner route's going to take it. The only thing i got to deal with is the running back. And the running back can actually be a big problem in trips tight end because you don't know if they're going to go on a table route, a Texas route, or an option route. And all three of those are different in how you want to defend them. For example, if I run him on a table route, let me show you that real quick, you'll see that a cloud flat won't stop it, and it's an automatic probably 15 to 20 yards. So you can't do that. <laughs> you cannot do that. What about, a, what about a Texas route? Okay. So what about a Texas route? Okay, we'll show you a Texas route. So a Texas route. So everything's the same. Now we have a cloud flat there. And I just want you to watch the running back. And I'm going to not user him. Okay. I just want you to watch him. So this is a Texas route. Watch him. Wide open. Dot. Okay. So the Texas route is open. So what do you do? There's another route out of trips tied in that not very many people use. Only the best of the best players use it, in my opinion. Um, and it's a delay fade to the tight end. So you have a Texas route and a delay fade that could be possible. They could be po They're not always going to happen, but it could be possible. So here's how I deal with this. I like to go ahead and I like to man up circle 
And then what all I'm going to do on this is I'm going to hard flat the linebacker. Or I'm sorry, not the linebacker, the defensive end. I'm going to hard flat the defensive end. And I'm going to bluff blitz the linebacker. Or not bluff blitz the linebacker, I'm sorry. Let me re-say that. I'm going to bluff blitz the defensive end. And I'm going to hard flat the linebacker. This right here is the best trips tight end defense that I have been able to figure out. Okay? This, this is hard to beat. Your job as the user is if there is a slant route from left to right, it's yours. If there is a Texas pattern, it's yours. Okay? Um, normally, the match coverage will do a pretty good job. I don't want to talk too deeply about the match coverage. I Right now, I just want to show you how the play um, curl flat with the streak to the tight end and the smart route there to the circle. Watch this defense. Takes it all away. The only thing they might have is a flat late. And I want to show you an instant replay what I'm talking about here so that you can get a really good grasp. Now, the other thing that I will do on that running back side, if I don't want to hard flat him, right, if I if I want to be a little bit safer in my coverage, like for slants and stuff, I'll put that guy on a seam flat. But anyway, if you watch here, you see the tight end gets matched. Now, the one issue is this trip safety. Sometimes he does some stupid stuff, in my opinion. But as you see here, I mean, everything's pretty much taken away. Your job as a user, I mean, it's a tough, tough throw to hit um, to hit that post. But you see that the three rec will match the Texas pattern. Now, another thing to understand, that's the hardest play to stop. That's the hardest. It's not even close. That is the hardest play to stop from trips tight end. Hundred percent guarantee you that there is no other play from trips tight end that you will you will really struggle with, in my opinion, if you do the adjustments that I just told you. So we're gonna seam flat both of these guys now, and I want you to watch the same exact combination here. And I just want you to watch the uh, circle receiver. And again, I like to shade inside against. I, I probably generally shade inside. Okay. Watch this. There and there. Those are your only two issues. Those are your only two issues. Now, if you wanted, if they're running this a lot on you, let's say they're running this setup a lot. This is where you can also get a justy out of your trips tied in. So, again, we talk about the problems and how to fix them. One of the problems is this running back, right, where he gets open on his cut. So a way to fix that is to still do the same thing. So we're still going to shade inside, shade over top. And then we're going to two seam flats. We're going to put a three rec. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take this. Um, we're going to take this backside guy. And instead of manning him up on circle, we're going to now either man him up on the tight end or, uh, or not tight end. We're going to throw him in a vertical hook. And I just want you to watch how this plays. Watch this. There. And then right there, that vertical hook is getting in the area. Okay, so those are two adjustments that you can use. And then the last one I did want to talk about is the cross man. So you can do you can do that as well. And again, in my personal opinion, this is the one play that can give this play this this coverage some trouble because you you do have to use your circle. You do have to use your circle because the problem is you can't. Um, in my opinion, you can't really take this guy. I mean, you could. Like, you, you could man this guy up if you wanted to onto circle. I just don't know if it'll take it away or not. And I want him to be right in that little pocket there. And he gets to a really unique spot on the field. Another thing you could do is you could try manning him up on the tight end. I think this could give you some trouble. But let's just see how this works. Because um, really, the, the, the that route to circle is the one issue. It's the only issue that you'll face. And normally, that'll be Devontae Adams. Like, if they know what you're doing... That'll probably be Devontae Adams. Anyways, here's the cross man with the three wreck. I want you to see how this does. So there, there, and then the only problem is, as you can see, circle is running wide open. Okay? So your job, and let me just show you an instant replay. The cross man does, oh, it, it, I don't know. I mean, it's because Aaron Jones is so good, um, you'll see this adjustment. Does, I mean, see, look at that. See how he roasts him? 
He roasts two people. I mean, he's double team, but he roasts them. So that's the one issue. And you can see here, I mean, you know, they don't really do what I want them to do, unfortunately, on that on that specific combination. On that specific combination. Now, when they motion into two by two, this is not a problem. I mean, this 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 play right here, if they motion into two by two, um, good luck. Good luck running this play with any um, with any level of success. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So um, right here, we're going to motion them into two by two. And what I mean by that is basically what we're going to do is we're going to streak the tight end, and then we're going to bring across a drag route. And now I want you to watch that one little adjustment right there. Changes everything how the defense. See that movement right there? Now watch. Jair Alexander should sit on the circle. See him sit right there? That's a pick. Triple covered. Triple covered with that. Okay? So when they motion out of trips, in my opinion, I actually would rather that happen. Um, I think that the way that, you know, I, I mean, another way you could do it is you could use or this guy here if you wanted to. Um, I don't really like to do that because I don't like to deal with movement. Like, um, I think that trips tight end players are going to motion probably 80% of the game. And look, if you do that, you know, you could give yourself some trouble in my opinion. I just, I just don't like the final, I mean, you could definitely bring this guy in the, into the box. I mean, it's fine, but I just, I just don't like doing that. Um, that's just my personal, personal opinion. So anyway, I'm just going to throw the ball away here. But that's trips tied in. And um, there's there's more to it than that, obviously. But that's – and I know I spent a lot of time on curl flat. Curl flat to me is the one play that can give this defense some trouble because of how good that running back route is. And that's why I would suggest if you take this linebacker on the right side. And honestly, if you – even if you um, – crap, let me back up here. Even if you shade inside, shade over top, and then we make our adjustments here, I want you to watch this now. Here's another one for you. Take this, um, take take this this outside outside guy here, outside defensive end. I don't know why I was struggling saying that. Throw him in the vertical hook now, and then throw this guy here. You're going to see that this will probably guard it a lot better. So curl flat. Curl flat's the hardest one in my opinion. But anyway... You're just going to be using here, and then as you can see, you the, the, the one thing is you, as the user, you have to get back. You have to get back on that crossing route. Um, because that crossing route can beat me in coverage, that's where the issue's coming in. If that, like, if I could just simply take this guy and man him up on that, I just don't think that's going to be consistent for me. Um, but that would be the goal, because then I could do, then I could basically do that right there, you know, and essentially... Essentially, it should be bagged. The problem is um, this should be able to beat man coverage. If you watch here, watch watch the route. I mean, he covers him better, but that's the read right there. That's the read that they're going to have. So that's where it's a little bit on you to kind of bait that a little bit. Um, I have not found a great way. The one thing I have found, um, like I said, is the three red hook on the left side. Um, I just have not yet found a great way to deal with that angle route. Other than two yellows, you know, uh, that's that's what I've found for me, you know. But it, it's still it's still tough. It's still it's definitely still tough to stop that route. Um, that's the route to me, you know. And you could even try. I mean, you could try, but see, the thing is, when you man up, that's the only route they have, though. I mean, literally, it's like it's. I think it might literally be the only route that is open in the entire formation with this specific defense. But anyways, if you watch it here, again, there's Crossman, and he just roasts it. Crossman is not going to help you is what I'm trying to get at. So you have to basically user that and then loop back across. Now, the good part about it is, and let me show you, this will be the last thing that I share with you today because um, I want to be respectful of your time. And I know we're on a little bit of a long video. But the one thing that, um, the one thing that you need to know is this right here? So again, your your goal is you don't have to stop every route, right? You just have to stop it for a, a specific, you know, a specific time. So I know that man coverage is never gonna. I don't think man coverage will ever catch up to him. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the vertical hook, and again, I'm gonna shade that coverage down, shade coverage down, uh, shade coverage up before I do that, so that the outside guys don't get burned, right? I don't need the outside guys getting burned for one play touchdowns. 
So drop here, drop here. And now we don't have anyone cross main on circle. Whatever circle does, he's got it. You know, that's the way I think about it, especially in trips alignment. When trips is trips, circles the hardest, the hardest player to stop. Hardest player to stop on the field is Tavon Austin, especially because they're going to put Devontae Adams there. So any man coverage is – man coverage does help, but it doesn't solve it, okay? So anyway, um, all you're going to do here is you're just going to run right here, right here, right here. And you see how you can get pinned there? See how you can get pinned there? So to me, it's almost like you drop two three red hooks. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So because that vert hook doesn't sit where we want it to because we have to shade our coverage inside and over top. So that's where I'm saying drop two of them. They're going to go, even though they're going to go to the right, pretty much the same spot. And you could even, if you wanted to, you could man up the running back too. That's another thing you could do. But, but anyways, I just want to show you, because this is the, this is the combo. Like this is the combo that, that will help, will, will move a little bit. So snap the ball. I'm here. I have to jump back there. And as you can see, you know, we, we kind of sit on it. Um, another thing you could do is you could spy. So um, what I mean by that is you could do something like this. So you could have this here and then basically you could essentially uh, spy him. And that spy will drop into a pretty pretty interesting little spot. So again, just watch here. I've got to sit here, and then I've got to get out. I've got to get back there. So as you can see, um, the spy will sit in a spot that is kind of tricky. So for example, like let's say you're, um, let's say you're doing this, okay? And let's say you man him up now. The spy does do an okay job of getting to a point. At which is hard to stop. The, the angle route's the hardest route. Like to me, this combination is the scariest one. So I'm here, and then I get back up, and there you see. I mean, that's that's. I mean, it's 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 kind of it's kind of bagged. I mean, it is what it is. Now another thing you could do again, and this comes back to the cross man thing that I was talking about. Um, one last thing, and I know I keep saying that, but this is literally the last thing, because um, I know we got to get out of here. But I just I just get fired up about this defense. So. We manned up Tavon Austin. Now, if you think about this, and again, I know Devontae Adams is going to get more separation. But if you think about this, this is a, it's similar, okay? The longer Devont the longer he runs, the, 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 the longer that Tavon runs, to me, the more um, the time I have to catch up to him. So essentially what I'm getting at here is essentially a three-rack here, manned him up there, right? Back to kind of our original setup. But if you watch on this play, let me make sure I got the right routes. So I smart routed him. Yep, streak him. Okay. And now what you'll see, snap of the ball, come down here. You see that the man does an okay job, right? And he, if he if he throws it late, is bagged. So it's another one of those situations where it is a little bit about the timing of all of this. Right, but in my opinion, like let's say you did a flat here, you cross man him with the right side guy now, okay, and then you three wrecked on that side. Now, this is another thing that could give them some trouble because of the cross manning. So, you have your flat out there, and you'll see these are all different ways to stop that angle route. That angle route to me is the hardest route because you can't really, you can't really, you see there, and now we have the crossing route taken away, and now we're able to stop him. Okay, now we're able to stop him. Now, you know, real quick, let me just show you some of the other combos that they can do against you. So like that. And let's show you double sail. Okay, double sale to me is the one play. I think double sale is the best play in the game right now. I mean, it's up there. It's one of the best plays. So double sale and curl flat in combination with one another are really hard to stop. Watch circle. Completely boxed. Completely boxed out of that defense. So that's that's the cover four quarters. And that's there's more to it than that. We'll get into some of the more deep. We'll continue to talk through this. But... 
This defense, in my, for my money, is the best way to stop it. We've got a whole ebook on it um, that shows you different blitzes and different other things that you can do against trips tight end to really help. But this is the basic foundation. This is the base call. This is the call that will get you stops. Um, and, and, and I 100% believe in this defense. I'm, I'm very committed to this defense. I'm very committed to making it work. I have not found a very good way to bomb it out of trips tight end yet. I'm sure there is a way. I'm sure Jay Wall is going to know how to do it or Fancy is going to do it. But this, this is a foundation right here. And now that we have a foundation, we can continue to adjust out of it. So thanks for watching. Really the only thing, like I said, that you're going to have to deal with is the post and the angle route. Those are the two things um, that are going to be tricky. And that's where you can obviously get a little bit of justy. Like I don't think, I don't think for my money, that cross man right there, that's going to win you games. I guarantee it. Like that, that right there is going to win you games because you can now drop into something like that. And now you're free to use her. You, you're free to use the running back. Basically watch this route. He's got, see how he's so far to that side, he has so much position, and he completely takes it away. That's a tendency thing, though. I would, I, I'm would, i okay with giving them the five-yard angle route for a couple of, of possessions, and then at the right time, I'm going to take it away with that adjustment. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun for me to do this one. Um, if you like videos like this, let me know. Our text membership has a lot of videos like this. Our text membership is kind of designed um, to be a little bit more deeper. So if you're looking to get better, um, the text membership is completely free for you. If you want to get the ebook on this defense, it is in the description of the, vid of the video. It's only 15 bucks. And it's going to teach you how to literally box people um, and, and just take everything away. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 p.m.